We want to determine the present value of $30,000 due four years from now if invested at 4% continuous interest. So this question is asking us, what amount do we need to invest today at this interest rate to grow to $30,000 in four years? This is called the present value. And here's the formula for present value. It looks very similar to the future value formula, and I'll show you why that is in just a minute. These variables do represent the exact same thing as they did in the future value formula, where P sub zero is the present or initial value of the investment account, K is the interest rate expressed as a decimal, T is the time in years, and P is the future amount. So before we set this up, let's talk about where this formula comes from. When solving future value problems, we use this equation here. And it was a graph of this exponential. And we're actually going to use the same equation to determine present value. We're just going to write the equation in a different form. But what's happening now is we're given the amount we need in the future. And we're determining what P sub zero would need to be in order to have the amount P in the future. So if we were to start with the future value equation, we could solve this for P sub zero for the present value equation by multiplying both sides by e to the negative kt power. Notice when multiplying these two, the bases are the same, so we'd add the exponent, so we'd have e to the zero, and e to the zero is equal to one. So we just have P sub zero, or the present value is equal to p times e to the negative kt power. So this is the reason why in the present value formula, the exponent is negative kt. Now let's go back to our example and solve the problem. So the future value where p is equal to $30,000, that's how much we want in the future. t or time is four years. And our interest rate as a decimal would be 0.04. And now we'll just sub these values into our equation for present value. We'll have the present value is equal to $30,000 times e to the negative 0 0.04 times 4. And now we'll go to the calculator. So we'll have 30,000. Second natural log brings up e raised to the power. And we have negative 0 0.04 times 4. So the amount would be $25,564.31. Which means we would need to make a one-time investment of $25,564.31 to have $30,000 in four years if the account earns 4% continuous interest.